Hey everybody, I'm Vin Diesel, as you know. Thank you again for your support. Of Sorry about that. Sorry. Anyway, how's it going? How you doing? How's your partner? Oh, really? Welcome back to another childhood TV show. Yes, I am really still doing these. No, they are not worth my time. Now, today's show may look a little more familiar for people who grew up in the UK in the early 2000s. My parents are aliens. This show was a smash hit back in the day. It ran on CITV for bloody hell. Eight seasons and 106 episodes? 106 episodes? I can't keep this... <laughs> now, for those of you who aren't familiar with the show and don't know what it's about, just read the title. What more do you want? Nah, I'll give you some more context, it's fine. So these two freaks, believe it or not, are aliens. They came to Earth, presumably got a mortgage, and went through the rigorous process of buying a house, and then decided to adopt some human children because, uh, what else are you gonna do? <laughs> Anyways, let's take a look at the first episode of My Parents Are Aliens. So, the episode starts with Dad, Brian, and the youngest of their adopted children, Lucy, doing crazy alien things like jumping on the bed, these wacky shenanigans are starting on a high. What was that? A sneeze. <laughs> oh, there's little bits of ectoplasm all over my hands. There are so many jokes that I want to say, but I do not feel comfortable making them with a child in this scene. Meanwhile, downstairs, the rest of the family is starting their day. That's it. Where is she? Hi, want to join in? Cheer yourself up, have a jump. Space walk. I'm going downstairs to watch the Adams family. Compared to you lot, they're normal. What do you mean? Well, for a start, most people's parents don't jump around in the bed like that. It's really not that weird of a thing to do. So, Mel, the absolute ray of sunshine that she is, storms out after- Oh my god, what is that? So, while we take a moment to process that nightmare fuel, there is no better time to like and subscribe. I'm going fucking goblin mode here, subscribe. It takes a long time to make these. Is Tom gonna give another like goal? Is he? Oh, oh. 10 likes and I'll post another video. How about that? My Parents Are Aliens was chosen by Dirty 20. Comment down below and suggest a show. If I choose it, your comment could be featured in the next video. Anyways, let's get back to that silly elephant man. Melanie Barker? Melanie, school started three hours ago. Where have you been? The dentist. Have you got a note? No, because... Um... The it. The was on it. The on it or you it instead of your toast. Take your pick. Quite like the one about the toast. Is there some kind of problem? Boys, pregnancy, drugs, eating disorder, shoplifting. Take your pick. I quite like the one about the drugs. Well, where are you going now? Probably class. And now it's time to meet the final member of the Barker family, Josh. Back in the day, every single boy my age wanted his hair. I don't know, I reckon I could still pull it off. So, Captain Cool Hair and his loser friends hatch a plan to get invited to a party. I never get asked to parties. You do? You went to a Nan's 80th. Hi, Dave. Hi. He's so cool. I don't know if I'm missing something, or maybe it's the fact that I'm at least, what, two years older than they were here? But this Dave clown seems exactly the same as them in the popularity scale. What vibes is he giving off that I'm not picking up? So, are you busy this weekend? Yeah, I'm having a party. See ya. <laughs> Alright, yeah, fair enough. That was pretty cool. Well, I'm starting to come around on you, Dave. Kidneys in Yuck. Yuck. I'm having a pregnancy. We're having a visitor tomorrow. Who? Mr. Coleman, Mel's class teacher. But he can't come tomorrow. I'm having a party. Why is Mr. Coleman coming here? He wanted us to go to school to see him, but I thought it'd be nice if he came round here. Brian, he can't come here. What if you sneeze? Why does Mr. Coleman want to see me? Because she didn't go to school until after lunch and wouldn't tell him where she... You could say Brian had to go away on business. And Sophie should tell Mr. Coleman to come back in a week. You could avoid all of this if you just tell him where you were. You got us into this mess, you get us out of it. Then I can have my party. I told you, you can't have a party. <laughs> you can't have a party. <laughs> Fucking hell, do you ever show any emotion other than pure angst 24 7? <laughs> he's coming round to discuss my behaviour. If he's not happy, 
You could contact the social worker. And split us up? Maybe. Ah, Maybe stop acting like a dickhead then. Where did you go this morning? Why won't you tell us? Watch it be something really annoying like she went to her parents' grave. That would be a real downer for this comedy YouTube video, wouldn't it? When you're in the smoking area and Mr. Brightside starts playing inside. To find out our parents are aliens, we'll be sent straight back to care. <laughs> are you crying or doing your impression of a pregnancy? I don't understand. What were you doing today that was so important? I went to put some flowers on Mum's grave. Oh, for fuck's sake. I'm going to have to lighten the mood now. Uh, Is that better? They can't split us up again. Don't worry. We just gotta stop Brian from sneezing and stop Sophie saying what she really thinks. Uh. Hang on. Replay that. Uh. Did the transition just fucking moan? Open up! <coughs> Nuts. Oh, you're there for my party! Josh, nothing's changed in the last 11 hours. You're still not having your party. Nuts! We've got half an hour for an intense training session. But I thought I'd learnt how to be human. I always shout at foreigners. And I'm in love with Grant from EastEnders. You've got to learn to be stressed. OK. Someone's got to pay the mortgage. 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 Someone's I got give to up. Pay you can't. But what if I can't find a cure? What if I can't be human anymore? What you really mean is, what if we can't be with the children anymore? Do we ever find out why they adopted the kids in the first place? Like, what is the motive here? It can't be love, look at them. <gasps> now I am become death, the destroyer of worlds. Do you have to spray that stuff all over me? I'm not making that joke. You do it. <laughs> Whoa! I take back everything I said about this Dave kid. Look at him sitting backwards in a chair. He's cool as fuck. I'm sitting next to him at lunch. So the next day, the very normal teacher is due to visit the household. Maybe this will work. Josh, don't touch that. It's not programmed for humans. And? Has he done it? No, but Josh has. He started messing around with the machine and it made him do this weird backward sneeze. Oh, great, that's just what we need. He's here. Oh, uh... oh, Mr. Coleman, come in. Hello, Melanie. Hello. I'm Sophie. Got a bit of a tired finger and I'm worried about the mortgage. Hello! <laughs> it's Brian. <laughs> Thanks for coming. We're glad you're concerned, but it's all right. We, we trust Mel to be responsible and we respect her privacy. Well, that's a very liberal attitude. Some might say too liberal. Why don't they just tell the teacher the truth about her visiting her mum's grave? Am I missing something here? Am I an idiot? Well, yeah, but like, for this specifically. I suppose you still are acquiring your parenting skills. and The whole family is going through a transitional period. Oh, we certainly are. Brian and I have been in transition ever since we arrived. Arrived where? It's not that weird of a thing to say, mate. Well, everything seems fine, but I do think we need to keep a close eye on the situation. We will. Uh-oh. Oh, no. How are they going to get out of this one? I'm sorry. I just told you it was Mum's birthday. That's OK. Sorry? Are we going to gloss over that? Where the fuck did the teacher go? Did they kill him? Don't worry. Josh is the one who fucked things up. What about Brian? You're probably wondering what I'm doing with this in my hand. It... Get it, Josh. The party isn't happening. I've changed my mind. I think we should have Josh's party. Oh, he is alive. OK. <laughs> Do you want me to bring anything apart from the girls? No, just the girls. My party's fancy dress too, but we'll provide the costumes. You know, 
I'm slightly concerned that all we know about Josh's party is that he's requiring Cool Guy Dave to supply a load of girls and that Josh will be providing them with things to wear. Just what kind of operation is he running here? I don't know if I want to see this party if I'm being honest. This is only slightly better than what I feared. Just come right in, why don't you? How about the improvements to my headdress? <laughs> Get Jim to us, Nita. Or Mars. I'm not sure I need to stay. Oh, of course you should stay. Later on, the party made its way outside, and Brian started taking things a little too far. Miss Palmer said she thought we'd make a great family. In fact, she knew the truth. <laughs> I still can't get rid of this morph. Oh, you've got Leonardo. I wonder where he was. So that's what's making you morph. It must be the magnetic parts. All that trouble, and I thought it was me. Most of it was you. We're going to get rid of you. cheery ending. Well, that was My Parents Are Aliens, and it was rough. To be fair, this was the pilot episode, so they maybe hadn't worked out all the kinks yet. Although that being said, I think I've seen a lot of the writer's kinks anyway. And I mean, this show is so fondly remembered by people my age, myself included. There surely must be an improvement at some point. So, will I watch another episode to find out? No. <laughs> These videos are way easier when the thing is bad. And on that note, I think it's time to bury my friend Vin. Say your last goodbyes, Vin. You stay. I go. No following. Vincent, absolutely beating the <laughs> Um. <laughs>